Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Subnautica. So when we last left off, I wrapped things up by saying I would do a little bit of exploring and figure out where we were going to build a base. Man, this is some really nice peaceful music, isn't it? And then Reaper Attack! No, actually, here's my base. Spent a bit of time off camera. That little kind of abrupt ending, eventually once we get the observatory fragment, I'm going to... You know, go build that into an observatory, and we're gonna fill things out eventually, but I didn't want to go too far. Uh, this is the crafting room, as can be evidenced by the fact there is a modification station thingy mabob in there. And down here, here's where the magic happens. This is our fleet, a whole fleet of moon pools, which are kind of staggered a little from each other for reasons. And I didn't know this, but you can actually build windows on the sides of these things. So I built windows on the sides of them. Uh, we'll make this one, this inner one, I think, for the the exosuit. Aboard, awesome. That is sexy. All right. We also need to get the actual. Well, damn. Oh god! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Get out of there! Thank you. All right, let's also, uh, I guess I might as well empty the storage on this thing while we're at it. Oh yeah, I grabbed a bladder fish and fungal stamp samples. The fungal samples are probably not that useful for our purposes. I love this. And the music is so peaceful. I think I chose the best possible place to build our base, which makes me happy. Mac is making that sound. Oh, it must be the medical fabricator. It's kind of annoying. And I wish that didn't have a sound. And we, we have this, as you can see, that's gonna be the observation deck. The reception is over there. Lounge, there are some bubbles over there in the distance. Docking bay is directly below us. All right, so eventually I'm gonna make this into like sort of the lounge area, the bar sort of thing with all those fancy bar tables and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. I love all the little extra Little bits. There's also windows here so we can look up to the surface. You're also probably wondering wh what biome we're in. And we'll get to that in a second. Because I, I didn't realize where I was when we were just, or when I was kind of just wandering around. But anyway, this is going to be the aquarium area eventually. And in the meanwhile, do I have any titanium on me? Uh, no. But I do have the fabricator which can turn that metal salvage into... Delicious, delicious, uh, titanium, which is what we always want. Give me that. Give me all that titanium. All right, we need us. We need some storage, so we might as well get a wall locker in here, I guess. Because it makes sense, I think, to store some stuff in here. I don't have quartz on me, or do I? Do I have quartz? No, because it was showing that I didn't. So I'll have to go pick some- Oh, I have to actually have the quartz first. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I saw quartz around here, and then here's the actual entrance. I feel this is a nice little shelter area. Actually, you could probably guess that we're in the mountain biome based on just the way that's all set up there. That was a somewhat scary sound. Ooh, gold. I love gold. Uh, there's a big old hunk of crystal right there. But until I actually get the drill arm, I can't uh, actually get access to it. Which is kind of unfortunate. So... Yeah, I get... Well... Let's just go back to our... It, you know what? No. I'm gonna go get some quartz and then I will... I'll be right back. Alright, we will just call this storage for now. Storage. Awesome. Alright, so let's uh, start chucking all our stuff in here. Oh wait, what do I need to make the high capacity tanks? Oh, just titanium. Good. Awesome. Do I have enough titanium to upgrade the other one? The answer is no, so we'll have to go pick up some more titanium. That's okay. Let's chuck everything in here. Yeah, I don't need to worry about making... This is something I actually have to equip, which is somewhat unfortunate. Uh, blood oil, I don't need that right now. Don't need this, don't need that. Does the deep shroom for our purposes count as a regular acid mushroom? I assume it does. It might not, but I assume it does. 
Uh, we've been to Life Pod 7. I forget if we've been to 13 or not, so I'll hold on to it. This we'll need when we get the Cyclops, which I can actually build. Uh, no, it would be under basic materials, wouldn't it? No? What do I need to make uh, uranium? For your night crystals. Oh, idiot. I didn't take them out of my... Uh... There we go. Oh, sometimes I wonder about myself. I really do. All right, good. So now we have some enriched uranium, which is always delicious. All right. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want this to go in here. All right, good. Nice open inventory space for us to go exploring with. I mean, I should probably bring the seam off and other stuff over and start gathering material, but I really just want to explore. In fact, in fact, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're just going to explore again this episode. We're actually in the mountain biome. That's actually the mountain island, which has been made much bigger. And eventually in a future update, that, that it's actually going to be very sort of story important. If I recall, isn't there a reaper that spawns around the, uh, the mountain bi- Whoa. The mountain biome. But I guess we'll worry about that later. For now, I mean, we have the uh, mushroom forest. We have something glowing over there. We have the Kush zone a little over there. Just lots of cool stuff, really. And oh, I really want the drill arm so I can start just really drilling all these material. And there's that angry electric fish guy. I was actually gonna consider building down here, but I figured I might as well build a little bit of distance away from any potential dangers. Might as well be picking up the lithium while we're down here. Lithium, please. Thank you. As we can make lithium batteries. I forget whether there's such a thing as lithium power cells, but I know there were lithium batteries, which have more... They are basically double the strength of regular... There it sounds like a Reaper Leviathan. There's a big old hunk of salt. So yeah, there's a Reaper somewhere. I'm still not sure... can't is that I feel like I almost saw something off there in the distance it sounds close by let's stay near the trees oh Jesus Christ Jesus Christ holy shit Jesus Christ oh shit I'm stuck run oh god I almost had a heart attack holy balls just came right out of the gr oh god I can actually feel my heart trembling. Be still my beating heart. <laughs> I laugh because my soul is crying on the inside. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, I hope I, get, I can get a good screenshot of that. That'll be like the perfect thumbnail. You know what? If I can... You know I should make a small clip of it, or a small clip of that. I'm sure, I'm sure the Subnautica subreddit would love that. Oh, oh man. Well, that's my heart attack for the day. Not to make light of actual heart attacks because, you know, that's nothing to laugh about. But good God. You can't do that to me, game. Like, my poor heart can only take so much. I just saw the little claws. I was waiting for it to wrap around me. Oh, thank God I was in the exosuit, because otherwise that would have been just death. You know, and then I'd have to swim back to try to get the exosuit. Oh, man, you can't do that to me, game. You just can't do that to me. It's, it's unfair. It's just not right. What is this? It's a creature egg of some kind. And I'll pick it up. I don't know what kind of creature I'll get. I'll just take that fish. Uh, where was that wreck we were moving to? There it is. I swear to God, if there's another Reaper over here. Oh, you piss off. I have no time for your shenanigans. Oh, mercy. Also, fun fact, on you know, a completely different and less scary note, you can get uh, crash eggs. You know those little pufferfish, pufferfish things that can explode? And 
You need to get crash powder. That is a really big kush over there. Good, good stuff. Oh, you bone sharks, you're not scary. Stop pretending that you matter. Come back when you evolve into a Reaper Leviathan. Uh, you know what's sad? Is that, from a certain point of view, Reaper Leviathans are basically the Gyarados of this world. And I liked Gyarados. He was a cool Pokemon. His backstory implied that species of Gyarados... Oh my. Do I dare? Eventually, doing this will probably kill me. But I'm pretty sure I'm safe. I feel like I should be dead now. This is very interesting. There's also a dead fish down there. So maybe I don't want to touch that. I also heard one of those electrical eels over there. So we will probably want to give him his space. Whee! And up we go. No, I wouldn't mind building my base in the wreck. That could be fun. Okay, let's uh, get our thrust back. There's gotta be a way into this thing. But I can't seem to see it. Having a hard time. Oh boy. Oh man. What a way to start a video, huh? Just ah, la 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 la. Just minding my own business. Gonna go exploring the mushroom forest in the mushroom kingdom. Which has always been a friendly and safe place. And then Reaper Leviathan into the face. Like, good god. <sighs> Alright, how do I get into this thing? I can't see an entrance. And I don't want to get out until I know how to get in. That way I don't waste my oxygen. But I mean, there's got to be a way in, right? Like, there's always a way into these wrecks. Surely. Maybe. Maybe that eel knows. Am I just missing something? Ooh, would the entrance be in here? That would be a nifty way of doing it. I also clearly need a lot more power for my ship. Uh, or for my base. Where does this go? Keeps on... Uh, can't fit. I don't think I want to go into a hole I can't fit in. So that, my friends, is generally a recipe for disaster. Oh, come on! Stupid storage, not having room for storage. Alright. Yeah, let's, uh... Pop it open. Now that egg is taking up a lot of space. Man, there's not much space in this thing. There's probably an upgrade. Uh, no, we don't have room for that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I love that calm, soothing voice. Just what I needed after that terrifying encounter. What is it with these tiny little holes? I can't quite fit in. Oh, wait, wait. You know what? I don't want to do that because I might not be intended to fit in there. And then I'll, you know... Get stuck and die, and I don't want to die. No, I mean, no one really wants to die, if I had to guess. I mean, I suppose some people do, but I'm not one of them. Not today. Hello there, fishy. All right. Hmm. We Oh, get, get, uh, get out of there. All right, I'll just recharge my thrusters. And then up we go! Come on! Up! 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 Oh, that sounded like it was getting close. Up, 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 and down. You know what? I don't even want to go into that wreck anyway. Let's, uh, let's just keep exploring over this way. I'm seeing some electrical discharge in my vicinity. You know what? I bet that eel doesn't want to hurt me. It probably can't. Let's just pretend it can't, and it'll be okay. Let's just keep walking. Caution. Dehydration detected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounded like something tried to bite me. That also sounded like something tried to bite me. You know, there's a lot of geothermal power down here. If it wasn't for those big ang- Ooh! Sir, or madam, I would prefer if you didn't try doing that to me. I mean, honestly, what have I done to you? Ooh. Why do all of these have holes in the side? Hello? Those things sound so scary. But you know what? Deep down, they probably just want to be loved. I noticed there is no PDA in here. Did I already go there and I just forgot, or...? 
I don't know. I feel with all this fire around here that maybe we're getting close to the lava zone. That's deep underground, if I recall, so... Surely that's not here. But note to self, even if the Reaper sounds like it's still a, di a bit of a distance off... You wanna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, son? Yeah, take that. Yeah, you run... You run off, I will get you. I mean, I will find you, and I will kill you. So... I'll go all Liam Neeson on you. Yeah, give me that, give me that fish. Where'd the fish go? Am I just killing fish but not picking them up? I mean, I don't want to punch the fish and just leave them lying there. I want to punch the fish and pick up the fish. Mr. Fish, come back. You an angry fish? You seem angry at... You seem angry with me. What? Talking about prime directives? Oh, I'm, I'm actually really, uh, really dying here. I should probably eat this air sack. Which did nothing for my power at all. You know what? I am... That looks like a big drop-off. You know what? I'm gonna go home now. Except it occurs to me I forgot to put down a beacon, so I don't actually know where home is. I'm gonna need water. Or I'm gonna die. So, uh... I'll go take care of that, and I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, and we're... And we're... Bat wow. It zapped that fish. Anyway, we're back to more or less where we were when we left off. I have no idea what that thing is that I punched. I feel kind of bad about punching it. And uh, we're now wandering into the abyss. I mean, remember, be careful about staring too deeply into the abyss, because if one is to gaze too long into the abyss, the abyss will begin to stare back. Am I supposed to go down here? And there's a ledge. Oh, shit. I mean, there's, there's something... Okay, that's just a bone shark. Thought I might have heard a reaper leviathan for a second. But it was just a bone shark. That's good. But anyway, as I was saying, remember to something something sighing, stare into the abyss, something something sighing, it will stare into you. Ooh, a creature egg. Hello? Leave me alone, yeah. I'll punch you. Don't think I won't. I shouldn't walk this way. No, I'm sure I can get- I'm sure I'll be able to get back to the surface. I am sure- Was that a Reaper Leviathan? No. We are- That sounded like a Reaper Leviathan. I'm just gonna walk along this shelf now. That sounds like a Reaper Leviathan. But this is the Kush zone. I thought Reapers were not in the Kush zone. I also thought they didn't come this deep down, but apparently I... Apparently I was mistaken. It's always the Reaper yet. Is that a bridge? Huh. Oh, I am definitely hearing a Reaper. But it's kind of hard to tell, because you also have these assholes flying around with their ghostly roaring. Hmm. Well, I've heard of this fancy bridge. It's It connects to a, another biome, if I recall. It's like a dramatic... I think over there is the dunes. And that's where Reaper territory is. So, if we stay on this side of the bridge, we... Will not enter Reaper Town? I think. Maybe. I'm gonna go off that assumption. Just another drop off. Oh, no. Yep. Get, get out of the way. Gosh darn it. What does it say? I wanna pick up the boomerang, please. I'm gonna need more food soon. Probably. I feel. I feel. Like I'm gonna have an ever close encounter of the third kind with a reaper. Or just to be safe, to make myself feel more comfortable, I'm gonna save the game. Because in real life, you can't save the game. You just have to play the hands you're dealt. And if you screw up, well, it's game over. It's like playing a roguelike. You know, I'm not hearing any more reapers. 
Which means that... Which means there are either no Reapers nearby, or there are Reapers nearby. Funny how that works, really. They scream bloody murder when you're not around. But, seriously. Screw off. I will fight you in real life. Hmm. Okay. You know, we're reaching that point in the game where I'm not really feeling safe and happy anymore. But life. Life is starting to seem... Is this like the edge of the world? I don't see anything after that, so I'm going to assume that's the edge of the world and I don't want to go there. Because sure, I could drop down and maybe there's, you know, fun surprises. But then again, maybe Pennywise the Clown is down there. And I don't think I'm currently equipped to deal with that. Not now. Maybe tomorrow. Alright. Well, alright, back the way we came. We are probably going to want to go back to recharge our batteries at some point. Because the last thing I want to do is get stuck 370 meters under the sea with no way of getting out. You know, because there's... Oh, screw off. Come on. We all just want to live our lives here. Oh, the biting sounds are scaring the crap out of me. Alright, let's make our way back up. Upstream. Instead of down. I and mean, we could keep going that way, but I think that, that would basically just result in me circling around. Alright, we're gonna start hearing Reapers again. But there will also be that bridge. And the bridge is fu- Now- I swear to God. I will fight all of you. Like, come on. I'm actually kind of surprised how aggressive the wildlife is. Because you'd figure, like, they would be more curious than anything, right? As they have no idea what the hell I am. Like, I'm just some kind of thing that probably doesn't even have, like, a, sm a proper smell to it. Unless they have, unless, like, sharks, they have the whole electromagnetic thing going, in which case, the machinery might be attracting them. And God help me if that's how Reapers track their prey through electromagnetic signals. Oh boy. Which it probably is, let's be honest here, because that's just how life goes out here in the Rim world. And in Subnautica. Oh man. Why does it sound like the Reaper is ahead of me? There were no Reapers ahead of me. The heck is that? It's an egg, but it's moving. I don't know how I feel about that. Hello? Well, nighttime is just approaching? I'm lost. I feel like I'm hearing Reapers ahead of me. I'm hearing, I swear to God, if a Reaper has since spawned in my base. I'm just effed. Where am I? Oh, and here I fought. I don't need the... Am I on the bridge? Is that, what, is that what's happened here? Shit. <laughs> um... Well, I could try making my way this way. But that sounds like where the Reapers are. <laughs> So the only way between me and home is through Reaper Town. Well, staring into this abyss. Ooh, don't don't do that. You know what? I think now is a good time to wrap this episode up. So for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And next time, in our hilarious adventures and misadventures underwater, we uh, make a mad dash for home. And pray to God we don't get eaten along the way. So, hope to see you then.